Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Great to welcome back the Mayor of the Happening Hora Whenua, Bernie Wanda. Good morning and welcome to you. Uh, good morning, John, and to your listeners. Uh, great to talk to you, Bernie. I've heard one or two whispers that even more central government money could be coming your way shortly. Can you tell us anything? Um, well, we can't give you any detail yet, unfortunately, but the whispers uh, we, uh, we are getting... Um, out of Wellington are that we are going to receive a significant amount of grant funding for one of the um, capital investment uh, projects that we put forward uh, during the COVID lockdown. Um, we've uh, sort of, you know, looking forward to that formal announcement, but as you can imagine, uh, the political landscape at the moment means that um, uh, there are some uh, politicians that need to take advantage of those announcements at different sure. times. Um, so you know, we're looking forward to that, but early indications are that um, it's it's um, it's going to be a real bonus and a and a real sort of a positive uh, thing for the district. All right, well that's wonderful. We we don't want to gazump a minister at times like this, but we look forward to the announcement. Also yeah. from Central Wellington, Bernie, I don't know how this affects the Hora Whenua. Uh, this this uh, notion that they're going to be putting money into water. Uh, reticulation, water supplies, water infrastructure, as long as you're willing to sign up to some kind of consortium. Is this going to affect the Hurafenua District Council? Well, I think it's going to affect us all, uh, regardless of where we sit at the moment. So um, the first tranche of money is $761 million, uh, which we only have until August the 31st uh, to sign up for. Um, And the, the amount of money that we will receive from that will be uh, based on population and land area, and it's principally to bring uh, renewals and maintenance forward uh, for you know the, over the next two or three years, so that you can get on and, and get your infrastructure uh-huh. a bit more up to date uh, earlier. Uh, the reality is, though, that the gap between what councils can afford to do and what needs to be done is quite massive at the moment, um, and both in the water space and especially in the wastewater space. Um, but this is the first tranche of uh, a program to try and bridge that gap. The reality is, though, is that um, if we want to sign up probably in a couple of years' time, we're going to have to sign over our assets to some sort of central government agency that will then look after them. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of uncertainty at the moment around how that looks. Uh, but that is a uh, distinct possibility. And uh, obviously a, a, a real decision to make uh, for that second tranche of money. Have you got any feelings about wanting to sign over your assets in that kind of way? Um, well, there's, there's two uh, ways of looking at that. Certainly um, that it takes out the, the, the need for local government to actually start planning for renewals and, um, and, and maybe new infrastructure in the long term, uh, but also uh, for people like ourselves who uh, our infrastructure is in a pretty good space. Um, you know, we've spent a lot of money over the years. How are we going to be recompensed for mm-hmm. that um, mm-hmm. is a big question. So, you know, there, there's, it's going to be, a, um, you know, the next probably in the first half of next year, we're going to have some major decisions to be made in that space too. Yes, indeed. It would be absolutely unfair if it penalised those who've done the, the good job over the years in keeping the infrastructure, the equipment up to snuff. And uh, it would be really bad if those were penalised and those who had deferred spending were rewarded by this program. Yeah, well, you look at uh, what's been happening, in, especially in the major cities around the country over um, a little while. Um, you know, there's been some... Um, pretty bad sort of, um, you know, um, programs that haven't been uh, kept up to date, if you like, and in terms of those investments made in some of that space, and it's coming home to roost. Uh, But the reality is is that we can't keep uh, increasing rates to pay for that. It's Mm. impossible for the uh, the government. And there is a realisation there too, is that, Local government may make all the investment in this infrastructure, but it's actually central government that benefits from it. Um, so, 
um, there had to be some sort of recognition of the amount of work and investment that central, uh, local government are putting mm. into that. How is it that central government benefits from that work, that investment? Well, mainly because it's about growth. Um, a lot of the uh, that sort of thing. So a lot of the um, the new infrastructure is, is to recognise the growth, um, and so it's it's GST, it's taxes. Um, it's other revenues that the government gain uh, from all that investment. Um, you know, the reality is is that of the total tax revenue that uh, um, is taken from the public of New Zealand, only about 12% of it goes back to local government. Well, wow. and, and and the rest of it is uh, you know taken by central government. Mm -hmm. But we're the ones having to spend the big dollars to uh, put in the infrastructure. Um, I have not heard so, that you know, so, mm. Yeah, so it's quite staggering. Um, and there's this sort of, if you like, um, um, uneven platform that we have to deal with. Indeed. I believe that you're having a bit of a techie tour of your infrastructure assets uh, uh, very recently. Uh, and uh, I suppose that could well inform your future discussions just to see what your inventory is like at the moment. Exactly. Um, look, we're about to uh, start our long-term plan process. Um, so despite only having just finished our annual plan, um, the long-term plan is going to be uh, pretty vital for um, working out what we do in the future. So, um, yeah, we're... Um, and this is part of uh, probably an induction for our new members as well. Uh, we weren't able to do that through COVID, so we are taking the opportunity to... Uh, get up to date as to where we sit, and you know, and doing it face to, uh, you know, on the ground rather than just sitting and um, looking at photos or uh, having a briefing. Good idea, great stuff. Well, obviously things are moving along. Can't wait for that big announcement to come shortly. And it's been great to have you on the program this morning. Thank you so much for your company, Bernie Wanden, Mayor of the Hortofinua. Cheers, John. One hundred six point three BGFM.